It was a snowy January, and Thomas was being pulled out of a snowdrift by Terence the tractor. It's not my fault. My plough is at Farquhar. Suddenly, Percy appeared from the Hackenbeck Tunnel and smashed into Thomas. What was that? Yes, Percy. What was that? The signal was green. Terence pulled the two engines, whose fronts were both mangled with Percy's snowplough, out of the snow. At Ellsbridge, James arrived in with a passenger train when he saw the back controller. James, Thomas and Percy will both be in the works for some time. You all will have to cover for their trains. Yes, sir. Then, Daisy arrived. The snow drifts are quite patchy. You all should wear a plough. Oh great, just what I like. Stupid branch lines. Later on, James arrived at Dryall when he saw the most unusual train waiting. Toby was wearing Thomas' snowplough and was pulling Annie and Clarabelle. What on earth? You're to wear this snowplough and pull Annie and Clarabelle. I'm taking Thomas and Percy to the works. But it's not even my colour. Soon, everything was swapped over. James felt very silly. James set off along the line, feeling very unhappy. He had to wait at a signal, near to where Terence was resting. Hello there! Be careful of the drift near the tunnel, it's dodgy! How do you know? You just rest in the shed and barely do anything. Just shut up and stay out of my way. Over the next few weeks, James worked hard on the branch line. But his job had become quite a joke amongst the other engines, as had his snowplough. Everyone found it funny that his plough was such a different colour. One morning at around 5 o'clock, James had to take some workmen and passengers up to the quarry. It was frosty and gently snowing. James was not in a good mood. I can see why Thomas hates this thing. After collecting the trucks, James set off towards the quarry. It was hard work climbing the steep hill and James being angry wasn't helping. He shook and banged his plough when suddenly... Ah! Help me! James should have been flowing along the river, but he didn't. The snow plough was stuck fast in the muddy banks and wasn't moving. Up at the quarry, Toby heard the news and rushed away to help. But when he arrived, the track was blocked and he couldn't pass. Help me! Just then, a familiar whistle filled the air. Thomas? Thomas and Percy were fixed. quickly coupled up to the trucks. They pulled Annie and Clarabelle back onto the rails and then took them back up to Farquhar.
Terence the tractor then arrived. hard work, but in the end, he pulled James to safety. Oh! Thank you, Terence! Workman then laid down temporary rails, and by around three o'clock in the afternoon, Terence was pulling James up the rails. heavy and Terence was finding it rather difficult but at last they reached the main track where some points had been placed in. Terence you're brilliant! Oh my days that was hard work! Trevi then pushed them back to Farquhar before leaving to help clear up the tram roads. A few days later, Thomas arrived at the works with the special for James, who was being repaired. Hello, Thomas. What have you got there? It's a present from me to say thank you for looking after my branch line so well. Workmen unloaded the crate, and there was a snowplow, just like Thomas, only in James' colour. You like mine so much that I thought we'd give you one yourself, in your own colour this time. Thanks, Thomas. I now know how important and useful they can be, even if clinging onto a riverbank isn't exactly what they're made for. James now wears his snowplow with pride, and accepts they can be useful. James also gained great respect for Terence the Tractor, whose efforts helped tremendously in the rescue.